why are you guys so serious <laughs> over here? You know, we could all be having a worse day. I'm just playing. I don't know how to talk like the freaking Joker. Why are you so serious? Is that how he talks? And then I saw the I mean, Batman. I mean, I've seen him in passing, but I don't really remember how he talked. You know him. what? You know what? I the, just, the only thing I've seen is he has like a nurse costume on and he's like walking outside or something. He's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like waddling. Yeah. And then he waddled away. He waddled, waddled. I seen that, but other than that, I don't know much. And about he said him. to the man with the lemonade stand, "We're checking out the dark Nizzy today." Yeah, that's what she's been calling it. So the the thing about the Dark Knight is the Joker so iconic. The main reason is because every time you go to Walmart or Target or just whatever yeah. the case may be, and you look at the movie posters, what do you see? Of course, you see the Joker. And it says, "Why so serious?" Serious. Why does it say that? I don't really know. I never asked. <laughs> Guys, so I have this constant thing where my, I, I put my hat on and then I talk and it goes. Yeah. And then I look like vanilla ice. You, you know what? Someone um, someone called him before the adult version of Timmy Turner. <laughs> right. I uh, saw this movie at my friend's house growing up named Michael and we watched it one night and I just thought it was a really incredible movie, but it was one of those things I just, I never watched it again. So I'm really excited to watch it and try to. I can see it with an adult perspective. You know what I'm saying? You, on the other hand, you've never seen it. I remember it, the so hype so around it. it. I do. I remember the hype around it. But like I said, like, it wasn't really my forte. It wasn't like I was going to go out of my way to go see a superhero movie. I'm just not even going to lie about that. Well, for me, like, I remember certain themes and stuff, mm -hmm. but and like there's certain scenes and stuff and there's certain iconic Heath Ledger moments that like I remember like when he has the radio with the hospital and all that. But I don't know how all those pieces fit together and like what was the story behind it. So right. uh, it was really nice seeing the origin story. Yeah. We saw a young I was really Bruce. impressed by it actually. You think maybe if I tighten this? It was actually one of the better origin stories that we've seen. There's all kinds of origin stories. Bambi had an origin story, did he not? Yeah. His mom got gunned down in the streets. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> it was anyways. tough for real, guys. I don't remember Bambi. I think that was the first movie I ever cried in, believe it or not. I'll spoil it because I don't think we're gonna watch it. Basically, Mom got shot by some hunters. It was sad, guys. It was oh, one of those things shoot. as a kid, you just saw it. I remember crying in it. I, I don't know how old I was. And yeah, I didn't cry, but I about <laughs> did. I had a friend who had a friend who did. Gotham City, maybe? Obviously. Oh. That's creepy. Guys, what would you call that? What would you call that type of mask? A clown mask. <laughs> Well, like it's a clown, but it's like a renaissance mask or something, right? A nightmare, that's what I call it. So why do they call him a joker? I heard he wears makeup. Wow. <laughs> they look so scary. <gasps> Detective Mahomes. Oh. Prison break. Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Put hands up. No. Here comes the silent alarm. This is like a heist. Is it a problem? No, I'm done here. <gasps> Shot that man. That's the thing about a heist. Taking his share. Yeah. That's all he needed him for. You don't want to rob him. He's going to catch you. <laughs> Obviously, we don't want you doing anything with your hands other than holding on to your life. Was that a grenade? Yeah. <laughs> Went and got the shotty. Hey. You coming around in my bank. Out, right? <laughs> oh. oh man! Went out like a G though. Mob bank. I guess the Joker's as crazy as they say. Where's it's a mob alarm? bank. It's a bank ran by the mob. Take him out. Oh, that's why he had a shotty. That's why he said, "Who you think you're stealing from?" Told me something similar. <laughs> no, no. Well, they're taking each other out, huh? Somebody's about to take oh. him out. This Joker guy was so smart, he'd have had us bring a bigger car. Oh, I'm no. I'm betting the Joker told you to kill me as soon as we loaded the cash. No, 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 no. I killed a bus driver. What bus driver? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. School's out. Time to go. It's not getting They're up, so sneaky. <laughs> I wouldn't trust anybody at this point. Me either. That man's got a gun in his hand. What happened to the rest of the guys? Oh. Oh. <laughs> What the heck? He just got in line with the rest of the school buses. That was cold. That was Crazy. a good opening, wasn't it? <laughs> the criminals are running scared, but I say no. No, nah, man. I don't like it tonight. What are you, super serious? <laughs> you got more chance of winning the Powerball than running into him. That 
That's crazy though. That little option's always in your mind. It's kind of how the police are though. You're closing in on the Batman. Investigation is I'm going. Aben Sasquatch. Why wouldn't he come? Hopefully, because he's busy. Right. That's cool that they like signal for him. I like that. Like every every person in the city who's dabbling in crime looks in the sky and sees that symbol and it just sends a shiver down their spine. Mm -hmm. Get him off! Look at your drugs. Stay to my customers. Buyer beware. I told you my compound would take you places. Whoa. There he goes. Places you wanted to go. Assuming Batman left anyone to buy from. <laughs> Ramsey Bolton. There he is. That's not him. <laughs> yeah, it's not, right? <laughs> oh, put that scare stuff on him. Oh, there you go. Also, he inspired others to go try it. Mm -hmm. I love that. I thought I was about to be Robin. I remembered that. That wasn't him. <laughs> That's intimidate. <laughs> it does the job. There you go. Where's Scarecrow think he's going? Oh. Uh oh. That would hurt. It's crazy because he's not like a super soldier, so that really actually does hurt. Right. Oh my. I bet, I bet uh, he's super into like the hyperbaric chambers and all that junk. <laughs> and, like healing and recovery and all that. I don't need help. Not Cold my punches. diagnosis. What's the difference between you and me? I'm not wearing hockey pants. Oh, this. Oh, we had to have the abs. Yeah. <laughs> What's he hiding under that makeup? <laughs> what about this Joker guy? One man or the entire mob? He can wait. When the new DA hears about this, he'll want in. Do you trust him? It'll be hard to keep him out. And here he's as stubborn as you are. Dang, he disappears. There's a new <laughs> DA, which is huge. Because the district attorney has a lot to do with like how crime operates in a city. Yep. Alfred. Dang. <laughs> they had the upgrade. My armor carrying too much weight. It needs to be uh needs to be faster. I'm sure Mr. Fox can oblige. Oh, did you get mauled by a tiger? It was a dog. <laughs> More copycats last night, Alfred, with guns. Why don't you hide them and take the weekend off? <laughs> I would. Hire him. Look at the new district attorney. I am. Closely. Need to know if he can be trusted. Are you interested in his character or his uh, social circle? Mmm. Rachel spends her time. Oh, that's Rachel. Rachel. Mm -hmm. She is recasted, however, I see. Know your limits. Batman has no limits. Well, you do, sir. <laughs> I like Alfred's glasses, the semicircles. Mm hmm. So he needs to get his armor lighter. Like it's too heavy. But it's got more pad, but look how beat up he was. He still wants to take more damage, but faster. I wouldn't leave something like that up to chance. I don't. I make my own luck. That's the guy from No Country from Old Men right there. Yeah. Is that the Hulk? I thought the DA just played golf with the man. <laughs> Things like that. The off's 130. More than well. enough to put you away for life, Sally. With Carmine Falcone and Arthur, no, that is not the Hulk. stepped up to run the so-called family. Is that man in this courtroom today? You ain't smart enough, bro. This man, Salvatore Moroni, is the new head of the Falcone crime family. Moroni? He's a fall guy. I'm the brains of the organization. <laughs> he said with my plaid suit. Hostile? hostile? I show you hostile. <gasps> If you want to kill a public servant, Mr. Maroney, I recommend you buy American. Oh. Get him out of here. That almost seems staged or something. <laughs> oh, he's not done. I ain't done. We'll never be able to link the gun to Maroney, so we won't be able to charge him. How do you get a gun in there? Trying to kill you means we're getting to One of the dirty cops, maybe. So please, Rachel. Maybe. Drag the head of the major crimes unit down here. Oh, Jim Gordon? He's a friend, actually. Try to be nice. <laughs> but old Jim. Morning, Jim. <laughs> I don't get political points for being an idealist. I have to do the best I can with what I have. So I'm taking it Harvey's an idealist, huh? I'll get you your warrants, but I want your trust. Well, you don't have to sell me that. We all know you're Gotham's white knight. I heard they have a different name for me down at MCU. I wouldn't know about that. When I hear MCU, you already know what I think. Well, Mr. Lau, I speak for the rest of the board and Mr. Wayne in expressing our own excitement. <laughs> He's back. Man's been up all night, yeah. <laughs> Frankly, this is embarrassing. I'll worry, Bruce Wayne. It's done. Tell him. It, numbers are solid. Do him again. Wouldn't want the trust fund to run out, man, would we? Another Weasel vibes. Mm -hmm. Lyle's company had grown by 8% annually like clockwork. His revenue stream must be off the books. Maybe even illegal. Okay. Cancel the deal. Oh, okay. So he's like an embezzler for people? Like a foreign embezzler or something? I need a new suit. You 
want to be able to turn your head. I'm sure, we're backing out of the driveway easier. <laughs> what I can do. That thing doesn't have a reverse cam yet. Yeah, he has those little ears. Okay. It would be hard to turn. Yeah. And I had to tell him I worked for the government. Rachel, fancy that. Yeah, Bruce. <laughs> Natasha, are you the prima? prima ballerina for the Moscow Ballet? Harvey's taking me next week. Really? So you're into ballet? Bruce, this is Harvey Dent. <laughs> Rachel's told me everything about you. I certainly hope not. So let's <laughs> Who appointed the Batman? We did. <laughs> you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That's what they were saying in Spider-Man. Mm. Remember the Green Goblin was saying that. Batman is looking for someone to take up his mantle. Someone like you? What if Harvey Dent is the caped crusader? <laughs> I'm going to throw you a fundraiser. That's nice of you, Bruce, but I'm not up for re-election for three years. No, you don't understand. One fundraiser with my pals, you'll never need another cent. Well, that's not good. Cash flow. So basically, Batman's wanting to sort of like take a back seat because he's getting the hell beat out of him. And he wants Harvey to step up politically and be like the new face of hope for the city. Right. So he because he's the like, prosecutor yeah. that's going to put these people behind bars. Problem is, our money being tracked by the cops. Thanks to Mr. Maroney's well-placed sources, we know that police have indeed identified our banks using marked bills and are planning to seize your funds today. That's what they were saying earlier. They put them marked bills and was buying with them. Mm hmm. I was thinking, can you move the money? I already have. For obvious reasons, I couldn't wait for your permission. Rest assured, your money is safe. Left that man like nine stacks. Hey, that's a that's a little bit. He said he was nobody. <laughs> How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. <gasps> that was crazy. It's gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what happened? Did your, your balls drop off? <laughs> Batman happened, right? You, you see a guy like or Harvey. Freak. We said a year ago. Yeah, he's he said like, three years till his next election. I know why you're afraid to go. It is Batman. The Batman. And, and as for uh, the television's so-called plan, Batman has no jurisdiction. <laughs> You'll find him and make him squeal. I know the squealers when I see. Yeah, he'll come to China for you. What do you put? We uh, kill the Batman. If it's so simple, why haven't you done it already? If you're good at something, never do it for free. Mayweather. Well, you will. Half. Wants 50% of that? Enough from the clown. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let's not oh. blow. Here's my card. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Wow. <laughs> that was incredible. He he was like a villain. Yeah. Extremely creepy. Those ears, I love them. Lao's halfway to Hong Kong. Little cat ears. Mm -hmm. We need Lao back. But the Chinese won't extradite a national under any circumstances. If I get him to you, can you get him to talk? How will you get him back, Amy? <laughs> he does that. So Batman's <laughs> got to go kidnap this dude. Right. The CIA program back in the 60s for getting their people out of hot spots called Skyhook. We could look into that. Well, I'm excited to see how they do that. Plates, mm -hmm. Sky titanium dipped triweave fibers. It'll be lighter, faster, more agile. Whoa. Oh, he's going to hit people with his forearms with those. And he has ninja Perhaps stars. Read the instructions first. <laughs> I'm a boat billionaire. <laughs> Jeez, bro, what in the world? Somebody here. They say they've just killed the Joker. They brought the body. Killed the Joker and brought the body. Oh yeah, he gets he gets like five, they get like five hundred thousand. Right, a million alive, but I guess they couldn't get him. How about a lie? Oh, he should have known better. Right, confirm your kills, people. How I got these scars? Mm mm. My father was a drinker. He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? Ow. He sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. And why so serious? Oh. So which of you fine gentlemen would like to join our team? There's only one spot open right now, so we're gonna have tryouts. Oh my gosh. This dude is twisted, ain't he? Yeah. But he said earlier he wasn't crazy. He got mad. He said, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. He likes to play games. Only. He seems a little crazy, mm -hmm. but he seems calculated. But if you're calculated, are you crazy? I don't know. Maybe you're crazy calculated. Do crazy people know they're crazy? Fox, Mr. Lau regrets he isn't able to greet you in person today. Well, I understand. They better not do anything to Lucius. I must apologize for leaving Gotham in the middle of our negotiations. A businessman of your stature will understand. And uh, <laughs> with you here now. He's lying, ain't he? Because he's working with the mob. Well, I well, do yeah. appreciate you bringing me out here in such style, Mr. Lau. But a real... He's just being diplomatic. We don't allow cell phones in here. 
sorry. Our business deal has to be put on hold. <laughs> hey, sir. He said, I ain't need that junk. He just knew exactly where to put it. He goes, okay. <laughs> this is where we put them when they don't want them back. <laughs> Sends out a high frequency pulse, requires a response time for mapping an environment. Sonar. Just like a bat. Like a uh... submarine, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> the other device? It's in place. That's Mr. the craziest Wayne. Nokia ever. Submarine, Mr. <laughs> Bruce. That was slick. Hey, he is Batman, not Subman, you know? That was crazy. What? <clears throat> Whatever he just had going on. Oh. Oh. Oh, that one's in there to like distort everything to take their communications offline, basically. So that's why he went in there. He said, why would a simple phone call not suffice? Right. We infiltrate and that's why. So that's a base jumping ass Batman right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jeez. Batman needs a GoPro. Yeah, that'd be cool. He should make a YouTube channel. <laughs> you remember how they do Batman. that in Marvel with Spider-Man? They show him like... <laughs> yeah, like vlogging it. Yeah, because <laughs> he's a kid. Okay, it looks like so real, doesn't it? That was crazy. Yeah, it does look real. You see him tuck and busting the glass? That was insane. You gotta take the shots. He ain't worried. Oh, he got him too. He's dragging him. <laughs> oh, he knew he could get that done in 2.30? Wow, so that thing's like a mark right there. The plane's gonna come out and grab that and yank him right out the window. Oh, bro, what the... That was tough. That was so badass. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, about to bring him back to the States. He's gotta testify. <laughs> I won't give you the money, but I will give you my clients. So he's going to turn on everyone so they can't kill him instead of give up the money. After you testify in open court. And I'm just curious, with all your clients locked up, what's going to happen with all that money? Like I said, I'm good with calculation. <laughs> you can go to county. Do you trust them over a county? I don't trust them here. Imagine how stressful your life would be if you turned on the mob like that, though. Yeah. You sure you want to embarrass me in front of my friends, Lieutenant? No, don't worry. They're coming to What? No shot. Man, that was fast. I didn't expect it to be that fast. And they got him, too, because you don't arrest them unless you got him. Right. 49 counts of racketeering, 87 counts of conspiracy murder. Oh, no. 527 counts of obstruction of justice. How do the defendants plead? <laughs> 549 criminals at once. How did you convince Cirillo <gasps> Richard. to hear this farce? She shares my enthusiasm for justice. Think of all you could do with 18 months at Queen Streets. So that's a huge move by him. Like, that's a big win for the prosecution. Public mm -hmm. They're all going to come after you now. And those criminals are back on the streets, followed swiftly by you and me. <gasps> oh, my God. Mm. That's the Batman that he was, you know what I'm saying? The one that was trying to help. Yeah. The one with hockey pads. Mm -mm. Oh, he had a Joker card on him. Will the real Batman please stand up? The hostage video. <laughs> Are you the real Batman? No. 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 <laughs> then why do you dress up like him? <laughs> mm. Batman must take off his mask and turn himself in. Every day he doesn't, people will die. Starting tonight. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> <laughs> he is so creepy. Was that not insane? That was like so real. So he, like. Right. That was insane, wasn't it? Oh, man. So Batman has to turn himself in or he's going to keep murdering people. So he's like the complete opposite of Batman. Right. He's wearing a mask, too, because Batman's wearing a mask. And he's saying there's no order. There's a dude running around with a mask. He's stirring the pot. He's right. like just out there being wild. And all that he's been doing is our new DA. And you know what? Hype him up. I believe in Harvey Dent. I believe that on his watch, Gotham can feel a little safer, a little more optimistic. Oh, he wanted to endorse him. This, mm -hmm. this is the face of Gotham's bright future to Harvey Dent. Let's hear it for him. Yeah, Batman's getting tired. And then the Joker, the Joker essentially was like, oh, you want to you want to use Batman as a symbol of hope? You want to dress up like the Batman? Well, I'm going to murder you. You know right. what I'm saying? He undercut his message. 
Politically. The DNA belongs to Judge Cirillo, Harvey Dent, and Commissioner Loeb. Uh, the Joker's telling us who he's targeting. Get a unit over to Cirillo's house. Tell Wurtz to find Dent. Get them both into protective custody. Where's the commissioner? City Hall. Seal the building. No one in or out till I get there. Got it. So the Joker's calculated. He's not just like out here doing stuff. He has like plans. He's putting fingerprints on things for who he's targeting. That's nuts. He's doing it through people too. He's got little birds like Varys. Yeah. Police commissioner. There's a lot of threats. I found the appropriate response to these situations a long time ago. I'm gunning for you makes you see things clearer. Yeah, but this is a different threat, though. About who you want to spend the rest of your life with. Pretty big commitment. Well, not if the mob has their way. Oh, no. What's your answer? I don't have an answer. Mm. Wait, wait, wait! Well, I guess no <gasps> answer is no. Harvey. Oh. Uh. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> Dang, left his con card and everything. Poisoned him, blew her up. And he did it all at once. I've come for him. Oh, oh he did. came for Harvey. In person. Oh, they're crashing the party. Where is Harvey Dent? Oh, Batman just took him good. You know where Harvey is? He's you know just chaos. He's yeah, just chaos. Boy. He's in there starting <laughs> chant. He <laughs> stands up, pretty boy. <laughs> We're not intimidated by thugs. You remind me of my father. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I hate my father. Okay, stop. Oh, snap. Rachel's stepping up. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> you must be Harvey's squeeze. <laughs> well, you look nervous. Is it the scars? You want to know how I got them? Please don't tell no, us again. Please. Uh -uh. <gasps> hey, no, please. So I had a wife. Beautiful. Like you. Who tells me I worry too much? This is a different story. I know. It's a like, more. does he do it a lot or is this a lie? So I stick a razor in my mouth <gasps> and do this to myself. Now I'm always smiling. <clears throat> <laughs> a little fight in you. I like that. And you're going to love me. Oh, man popped out of nowhere, didn't he? Yeah. The showdown we needed. He defended his girl like Ian Gary. <laughs> Somebody loved that comment out there. <laughs> a lot of people don't get it, but. Oh my gosh. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> Dang, you really no! dropped her. Well, Rachel being with Harvey's equivalent to being with Batman. In a sense, yeah, it's just as dangerous. <laughs> I'd be like, nah, I shit on myself. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but geez. With respect, Master Wayne, perhaps this is a man you don't fully understand either. Me either. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Truth. It can't be that simple though, can it? He just loves chaos and disorder. Watch too much Cyber Chase growing up. Chase Bank. Gordon sort of puts it on the line too, don't he? Mm-hmm. I need 10 minutes worth of scene before your men contaminate it. Us contaminated? It's because of you these guys hey, are dead detective. in the <laughs> He said, put some respect on Batman's name. Fingerprints. Man's got a tool for every job, don't he? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Hey, that's the mayor. That's Richard from Lost. I know. So, oh, bro, he's gonna kill the mayor? I would think the mayor's in with him. A turret? I'm not sure you made it loud enough, sir. <laughs> I'd make him design me some headphones. <laughs> Noise cancellations. Whole division of Wayne Enterprises just disappeared overnight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't recognize your baby out there pancaking cop cars on the evening news. What are you building for him now? A uh, rocket ship? I want $10 million. I He's trying to extort that man. I know. <laughs> tell him, Morgan. Do you think that your client, one of the wealthiest, most powerful men in the world, is secretly a vigilante? who spends his nights beating criminals to a pulp with his bare hands. <laughs> and your plan is to blackmail this person? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds smart, bro. <laughs> Dang, he didn't even deny it, too. I thought he was about to deny it. He just told him he'll beat you up. <laughs> just second guess it. <laughs> <laughs> that man said 10 million. I would have said five grand. Maybe they would have settled. Don't sell us cheap. At least 500k, <laughs> geez. If the Joker will make good on his threat in the obituary column of the Gotham Times to kill the mayor. He's tough, though. He's still out there in the streets. The yeah, he needs to be hiding. Cross -reference the if he was hiding, I guess he wouldn't be the mayor. For, uh, right. Not in that town. That's scary. It could be any one of your men, too. Mm -hmm. We're tight, but frankly, there's a lot of windows up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Clearly he was not a man who- That was guardsmen, right? Nope. Yeah, these guys were guard members. They beat him up and took their clothes. What was that? What happened? They took our guns. Right. On our guard! Fuck. What? <gasps> Whoa! That's him without makeup? I, yeah. Whoa! Okay, so he's really not scared to get in there himself and take oh, the shot. Oh no! Oh, they shot him! Gordon? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Gordon sacrificed himself. Tell me what you know about the Joker. Rachel Doss. <gasps> She's, She's next. She's next, yeah. <laughs> and he's just giggling. Are you okay? Is that Gordon's family? You brought this crazy I think so. You did. I mean, obviously, he's the one who just got shot. Switch it off. He ain't coming. Was she blaming Batman just now? The Joker's named you next. There's someone. Is there anyone in this town we can trust? You can trust Bruce Wayne. No, Rachel, come on. I know you're his Harvey, friend. Harvey, trust me. Then you go straight there. You don't tell anybody where you're going, and I'll find you there. I'm like, hell no. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> that ain't where Even you're trying to go at all. <laughs> yeah. Bruce's penthouse. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't want the Joker. Paul wouldn't kill me. I'm counting on it. Kind of oh. the point. Oh, he dropped him. <laughs> oh, it made my legs hurt. That was a torture mechanism. <laughs> just take off that mask. Let him come find you. <laughs> so he just wants to know, just to know. More people he wants to destroy the mind. the symbol of hope for Gotham. You want to play games? Which so far has been Batman and his mask. And he wants them to reveal that and take it away. But there's a prophecy. Gotham's just never supposed to do good. You don't think I will? I could be wrong, guys, but is that his motivations? You gotta keep your head. Tails, not so lucky. This is like Ant Anton Joker? Shakur or whatever his name is. Yeah. What? You'd leave a man's life to chance? Not exactly. His name's Schiff Thomas. He's a paranoid schizophrenic. You're the symbol of hope. I can never be. I can't believe Gordon's gone. You're gonna hold a press conference tomorrow morning. Why? No one else will die because of me. Gotham's in your hands now. You can't give in. You can't give in! He's planning on having a press conference and taking off his mask? And then, like, just saying that he's Batman, essentially? I guess just basically so the Joker can stop his antics. Right, and he just handed it over to Harvey and said, you can't be doing this, bro. Like, the people need you. They need to believe mm -hmm. in you. Bruce, don't make me your one hope for a normal life. Did you mean it? Yes. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't send her to freaking Wayne's penthouse. <laughs> like, geez, what you doing, bro? That sounds like the kissing spot. Dang, he's really gonna do that? Locked as well. Everything. Anything that could lead back to Lucius or Rachel. What? I suppose they're gonna lock me up as well. Sure so he's gonna go to jail? Accomplice. He's planning on turning himself in. He got rid of all the evidence that he didn't want people to find, so. Take the Batman into custody. I am the Batman. So what, he didn't like that they were like b being harsh on him? Wait, why did he say he's the Batman? Maybe to protect why? him. I mean, yeah, just to. He went down to the press conference. I know, and he just stood by. Letting Harvey take the fall for this is not heroic at all. You know him better than anyone. I do. Oh, I get it now. I know why. Will you give this to him for me? Turning himself in right? makes the Joker stop, but also the real Batman's still out there to take care of him. Yeah. I'm just confused because I thought he was supposed to be like the face of hope, but now he's also a vigilante at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like weird. Tell everyone the truth. Heads I go through with it. This is your life. <laughs> You can't leave something like that to chance. I'm not. You make your own luck. It was heads yeah, the whole time. Ways, yeah. So he wasn't gonna kill that guy. Mm -mm. Obstruction ahead, obstruction ahead. Damn it. All units divert down on the lower fifth. I repeat, exit down. Exit down. The fire lower truck's on fire. Ain't that crazy? This man really is chaotic. Look at that heli. Wow, so they're coming after Harvey. They have no love for first responders in Gotham City. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that that was actually spell like, spelled like that. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> RPG. Right. What is that, a bazooka? Or bazooka. He's real life GTAing. I wonder how much they pay these cops in this city. Like 30 grand a year? 35 million? With all this crime, it better be like 38 million an hour. <laughs> right. Uh oh. Oh, we picked off the. Bro, he intercepted it like that. That's crazy. In the Batmobile. D That's why it's glitched. That's why it's glitched on your aim. Damage catastrophic. Sequence initiated. Goodbye. No. Oh, I see he's got the bat bike. That's what's up. Oh, oh, and it's self-destructs? That's nuts. We're on point. Oh, 
Okay, okay Lucius Fox. He's got like a 55 inch tire on the thing. That's the kind you want to roll on the beach with. That's what I'm talking about. Air calf. <laughs> it ain't no damn doom buggy. <laughs> oh no. They're gonna clothesline the dang heli. <laughs> they feel like they summoned that. Why are they just sitting in the car down there? Because they're probably stuck. Because <laughs> all the drama. Right. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> He's wild. No one looks too shocked either. I know it's, it's like a day in the life. I know it's just like welcome to Gotham. <laughs> Wait, so now they know Harvey's not Batman though. He missed. Oh, okay. I see. He had to go install that brake system real quick. <laughs> Drop. Yeah, my dude's wall dash on. Huh. I would have ran him over. Or jumped him for intimidation. Oh, yes! Got back from the dead! Tricked. So they pretended in the media like he was dead, just to trick him. You do like to play things pretty close to the chest. We got him, Harvey. Oh man, my dude's dead. Man, I, honestly, I thought he was dead. That was such a letdown, because I really liked him in the last movie. Dang. <laughs> he had a potato pillar too. I know. Just, Out of the way! All of you! Back from the dead. Couldn't risk my family's safety. What do we got? Yeah, there you go. Just protecting his family. Smart. Tomorrow you take the big job. You don't have any say in the matter. Commissioner Gordon. The promotion? Okay. Oh. I feel like it was too easy to get him though. I'm sorry. I couldn't risk yourself. <laughs> right. She's been crying all day. Right. You know how traumatic that would be? Yeah. I'd have to lock the door. I don't feel good. My insides hurt. Oh, he must have had Taco Bell. <laughs> Aww. Did Batman save your daddy? Actually, this time, I saved him. Besties. Imagine your son figures out you're alive and he's just like, <laughs> like, he didn't really act much, did he? I know, he's like, did Batman save you? <laughs> Harvey didn't never made it home. Of course not. What have you done with him? Me? I was right here. <laughs> they got him from the inside, bro. Does it make you feel responsible for Harvey Dent's current predicament? Where is he? Predicament. Depending on the time, he may be in one spot or several. So he knows something. If we're gonna play games, I'm gonna need a cup of coffee. He wants him to make cop, a move. Bad cop routine? Not exactly. Hmm. He wants him to try to escape, I guess. Oh! Oh! oh. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. Should There's truth in that, though. Yeah, there is. These, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. Yeah, let the power go out. See, I'm not a monster. Let the internet go <laughs> For a while there, I thought you really were a dent. The way you threw yourself after her. <laughs> oh, he's Rachel too. Oh yeah, well he already had the name tag, so yeah, he was going for her next anyways. He might knock him unconscious and never know. One ride for the other. Your friend, the district attorney. Or his blushing bride to be. What a hard choice. His love interest or the symbol of hope for the city? Right. You'll have to choose. He's at 250 52nd Street and she's uh, on Avenue X. Which one are you going after? Rachel. Rachel. 250 52nd Street. Whoa, they got him tied up. Oh, I think I know what's going to happen now. I think I remember. I'm not going to say nothing, though. Rachel. I'm just going to let it play out for you. Oh, my gosh. There's barrels. I'm in a warehouse. They got me wired to these oil drums. I am too. No. Harvey. If he picks up the phone, it's going to blow. I'm not going to say nothing. I mean, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I basically remember. I want my phone call. I want, I want my no. phone call. Yeah, you don't get one. The boss said he'd make the voices go away. He said he'd go inside and replace them with bright light. Like Christmas. You're out of your mind, pal. Back off. Come on, get the door open. Who's his boss? The Joker? They told me Does he praise on the mentally ill? Only one yeah. Was gonna make it. They were gonna let our friends choose. Okay, Rachel. Can you find something, anything sharp? I'm trying. Oh. Harvey? <sighs> Harvey, what's happening? Dude. No. Man, you better get your neck muscles up. In there, last 
moments, people show you who they really are. So in a way, I knew your friends better than you ever did. Wow. Would you like to know which of them were cowards? So he's just trying to get this guy upset. His lick lipping thing is scary. <laughs> like, what is it? Oh. Oh. Uh. some kind of a contusion. I know you're gonna enjoy this. This is getting tense, dude. Oh, he's walking out. He's what? got a hostage. I just want my phone call. Oh, what? gosh. Talk to me just for one sec. <gasps> all right. He's all up in that oil too, man. Oh! Oh, it's a cell phone in his stomach. Is that a phone? <gasps> oh my god. And that was the police station? Blew up the police station to get out. And my answer is yes. She chose Harvey. No! No! Oh! No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Rachel! Rachel! Mm. Harvey, it's okay. Oh my it's gosh. Right. Some Man, I remember that was gonna happen, but that was still crazy scene. Oh Rachel. my god. Insane. <gasps> mm. Oh, he still got burnt. <gasps> oh no. The snitch, the squiller. He said that one's a squiller. Back at the MCU, the Joker's gone. Would Lau? Rose calculated. What is he doing right now? It looks like he's letting crime blow through his hair. He was letting hair. his hair down. Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> Guys, this guy's acting his butt off, dude. Dear Bruce, I'm going to marry Harvey Dent. So she chose Harvey. Dang. She was going to wait for me, Alfred. Oh, shoot. What's that? You can wait. Dang, he took the letter so Batman didn't have to deal with two tragedies in his life like that. Mm -hmm. That hurts. Oh. They're not the same anymore. Yeah, it was dark. It was burnt, wasn't it? Right. He says he's waited as long as he can for the Batman to do the right thing. And now he's taking matters into his own hands. Snitch. I knew it was a weasel. Remember that name you all had for me? Sayer! Whoa. Two-Face. Two-Face. Two <gasps> I'm sorry. He's missing half his face, honey. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh. No, you're not. Not yet. Wow. It's too much. I can tell you will be this afternoon. Even the mom needs help wringling this dude in. <laughs> He's too much for everybody. <laughs> I want auxiliary units to cover all possible getaway routes. <laughs> what do you do with all your money? I enjoy dynamite, gunpowder, and gasoline. What's it? <laughs> and you know the thing that they have in common? They're cheap. <laughs> He's got all that money. He's worried about the price. Oh, I am. <gasps> no, no, no. I'm only burning my half. Tell your men they work for me now. They won't work. Is he wicker manning him? Why don't we cut you up into little pieces and feed you to your pooches? I think he's saying we need to get back to caring about our principles, boys. Really no, I was saying, is he burning that guy? It's about sending a message. Everything burns. He did, didn't he? Of a world without Batman. If Coleman Reese isn't dead 60 minutes, then I blow up a hospital. I want you to call in every officer. Tell them to head to their nearest hospital and he start stayed out of it. search. Looking for hospital admissions. Will you be wanting the back put, sir? Middle of the day, Alfred. Not very subtle. The Lamborghini day. Much more subtle. <laughs> oh, he's taking the Lambo. He said much more subtle. <laughs> So him and Batman are battling for basically the soul of Gotham, right? Mm-hmm. Sir, Commissioner, do you really think an ordinary citizen would try to kill this man? Do you think they might? I don't know. That's what makes it scary, right? <gasps> One guy did. Oh, yeah. Dang. So they don't just need the gas to cause crazy like the scarecrow needed. Right. They, you can prevent it by just like. All you gotta do is threaten a couple terrorist attacks. People go mad. Or have a crazy guy with some face paint. Get out of here. Man, we're gonna have to move him now. Oh, he done dressed up like a nurse. Spurg is you okay, son? <gasps> he's about to try to kill Gordon. He's dirty. He just got the text message saying that he's dirty. And and that, that's why that cops is so dang, that he's so nervous right there. <gasps> Hi. I was sitting in Gordon's cage. Your man, your plan. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? You, you know really do, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it. You know, I just do things. <laughs> 
When I say that you and your girlfriend was nothing personal, you know that I'm telling the truth. I'm going to need your weapon. What? <gasps> why? Because my wife's in the hospital. Yeah, that would be why. Oh, no. I don't know what's about to happen, and it stressed me, me out. But when I say that one little old mare will die, well, then everyone loses their minds. It's the chaos. Mm -hmm. Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. Oh, and you know the thing about chaos? It's fear. Right. I see what you're saying. I don't. Wow. I don't buy it, but I. I see what you're saying. This chaos is just chaotic. It comes for everybody. You live. You die. Now we're talking. Oh, so it's not. It's not rigged anymore. Right now it's just chaos. Crazy. That man intercepted. <laughs> Sacrificed it all. How to use the hand, Sandy. That's a very brave thing you did. Trying to catch the light? Well, you, you weren't protecting mm -hmm. the van. Why? Who's in it? Well, you think I should go to the hospital? He you knows, know right? Yeah, that guy, that guy tried to extort him and he still protected him because he's just a damn good guy. That was a little bit too close for me. That guy was just in a newsroom interviewing someone. He's got, he says dent. <laughs> <laughs> That's who he's voting for. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bro. That was too good, man. That was such a good scene. Jeez. Where's Harvey? Is that CGI or did they blow up the hospital in real life? Did they demo an old hospital or something? I don't know, man. That was crazy. My guess is we missed one. Yeah, well, what's your guess about where Harvey Bent is? Keep looking and keep it to yourself. Anybody asks, we got him out. He kidnapped that bus of people. Come nightfall, the city is mine, and anyone left here plays by my rules. If you don't want to be in the game, get out now. What? But the bridge and tunnel crowd are sure in for a surprise. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Saying leave if you want to risk it. So bridges and tunnels is the only way out of Gotham City. Oh, wow. Was that like a big sonar system or something? I don't know. I really don't know. Damn, Jesus. I, I thought you was dead. Oh, that's Harvey? Oh, man. He said half dead. Ooh. That guy, that's got a burn, too. Who picked up Rachel words? I don't know. He never told me. Listen, Dent, I, I swear to God, I didn't know what they were going to do to you. That's funny. I don't know what's gonna happen to you either. Oh no. <gasps> he was crooked. That's why he didn't care. He's like, it's my off day. And he was just drinking because he didn't yeah. really care. You took my sonar concept and applied it to every phone in the city. Half the city feeding you sonar, you can image all of Gotham. This is wrong. I've got to find this man, Lucius. I was about to say, that seems unethical, bro. <laughs> At what cost? It's like Cerebro. Right. No, it can encrypt it. It can only be accessed. This is too much power for one person. That's why I gave it to you. This is an audio sample. Oh, if he talks within range of any phone in the city, you can triangulate his position. There's your phrase. I'll help you this one time. As long as this machine is at Wayne Enterprises, I won't be. When you're finished, type in your name. Okay. He said he ain't down for that, though. Yeah, he, he really don't like that. Anytime we go on a hike, guys, I have to go triangulate the position. Yeah. This might have been where I learned that phrase from. I have no idea. Whatever the joke is planning, it's a good bet that Harvey's prisoners might be involved. I want to get him out of here. Yeah, true. That is smart. Where is Harvey? We haven't found him. Oh, jeez. How long can he keep this quiet? Don't stop for lights, cops, nothing. I was about to say, didn't his man just get mugged up? Did you see that? The joker's just a mad dog. The one who ever let him off the leash. That's kind of you, bro. Care of words. But who's your other man inside Gordon's unit? Who picked up Rachel? Must have been someone she trusted. Look, if I tell you, you let me go. I can't hurt your chances. Uh oh. It was Ramirez. That's who they sent in the text. Ramirez and Berg. But you said, said it couldn't hurt your chances. Yeah, they 50 50 regardless. You're a lucky man. <laughs> He's not. Who? Oh, your driver. Oh, man. Damn. At this point, Harvey don't even care if he goes. You see that? Yeah. I didn't know the driver was an option. He's part of it. He's just mad at anyone who has any involvement in anything corrupt that led to this. Fairies. Liberty, this is Fairy. Come in. What the heck was that? That's the prisoners that Harvey put up, right? There's something going on on the Fairies. Get down to the engine room now. Someone sabotaged it. Oh, it's oh, rigged. No. Oh, no. Captain, I got 100 barrels down there rigged to blow. In this. No one checked mm -hmm. that? 
What? I'll be scared to open it. Why would they give us the detonator to our own bomb? Oh no. Tonight you're all gonna be a part of a social experiment. Oh, oh heck no. no. <clears throat> See, when I was a kid watching this, I probably didn't even get all this. Each of you has a remote. Blow up the other boat. Oh. Wes. Oh, we can. He can locate him. Why am I freaking coughing? Here, give me this. <clears throat> and you might want to decide quickly because the people on the other boat may not be quite so noble. Dang. That is twisted. He's really trying to force these people to eat each other, huh? Yeah, he's really trying to make them evil, right? <laughs> Corrupt against each hey, other. Back. Well, now, who, who are you to decide? Those men had their chance. <laughs> Let's put it to a vote. Yeah. 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 That did kind of look like him. It's Anna Ramirez. Those cops can't be trusted. Jim needs you away from mm -mm. them as soon as possible. I'll call them off for 10 minutes, and you'll have to move fast. But, but where am I supposed to take them? She believe you. It's because she trusts you. They got me early on. My mother's hospital bills. And Don't! I just... Oh. I'm sorry. Live to fight another day, officer. Yeah, I like you, though. Man, so even some of the nicest looking people are corrupt, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> it's a shooting gallery. That's so creepy. I want everybody to put their votes on this piece of paper. If anyone's got pens, I hope they don't do the it. Law. It's gonna say a lot about the state of God. Right, I was I know, right? It will show if they're good or bad, right? Don't give it to Bill. We have clear shot. We have to save that. Yeah, I'm assuming a lot of them are murderers, right? Yeah, if Dent put him away, he's supposed to put him away for good reason, right? Those are like the worst of the worst. Yeah. Okay, you got POV on Alpha? That made me like nauseous. The right. The SWAT team on the stairwell. Another SWAT team on the roof. He has the kids! Hello, Jim. Harvey? Why? Where's my family? Where my family died. Why does he think that he had something to do with it, though? Let me I think. I don't know. Maybe because he's on the police force and he's just like... There's something I'm missing with that story. They had tape on their guns. Fox, the SWATs are targeting the wrong people. The clowns are hostages. He's just causing chaos. Take the shot. Get down! Clear the line of fire! Drop your weapon! That would make things confusing, though. Right. It is making everything confusing. Batman's saving them all because he's a goat. It's so cool to have Morgan Freeman on the other line, too. Like, hey, Batman's beating the hostages, you know? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna see how it does against dogs again. Yeah, we can go out with the SWAT team coming up the elevator. He's too smart with it. The tally is 140 against 396.4. Four? <laughs> so go ahead, do it! We're still here, and that means they haven't killed us yet either. Right. It's getting close though, man. Jeez. They're all gonna collapse down, right? Perfect. Batman at it again. <laughs> that was go. nuts. I just like his sonar thing. I think that's sick. This one feels completely different than the first movie, doesn't it? Yeah, it's this is so, so different. riveting. Look, it's oh, Ramsey. Don't get it. He's poisoned by his enemies. <laughs> Cheap shots. Oh, he's got a bat in a net right now. <laughs> I'm thinking this is supposed to be like a Mike Tyson guy. Something like that. Give it to me. The Indian will kill you and take it anyway. No one wants to get their hands dirty. Fine. Sit down, Jim. Sit down. No one's stopping him, though. Right. Stand by. This is insane, if you want me to be honest. He's glitched out. He needs to take that mask off. Oh, let's Milo, go. That would have detonated it, though. I respect that. Yeah, me too. There won't be any fireworks. And here we go. That's it. That's what I see in the movies right there. You know uh, what I'm saying? Don't. I think personally, I'd rather die than do that. I couldn't do that. Mm. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. Wow. Y'all are good people. What were you trying to prove? And deep down, everyone's as ugly as you. He thought for sure they'd do it, huh? Right. Hey, it's past 12. That's okay. I came prepared. 
Oh no. No, because they're gonna think. That's what I was saying, bro. Yeah. No. Oh. But I know how you got me. Oh. Hey. He's so annoying because he likes it. I was about to say he's about to die just like that. Please tell me he dropped the thing. Please Man, tell me he doesn't him still a Joker have the thing. Fish. A, a seven pound uh, test, right? You, <laughs> you truly are incorruptible, aren't you? Batman, man. You won't kill me, and I won't kill you because you're just too much fun. <laughs> Until their spirit breaks completely. Until they get a good look at the real Harvey Dent. So Harvey was a secret weapon. You need an ace in the hole. Mine's Harvey. What did you do? It was supposed to be his, too. I took Gotham's white knight, and I brought him down to our level. Agent of Chaos. Dent! Is this about to be the showdown with Dent? Oh, man. Oh, man. You're about to know what that feels like. Then you can look me in the eye and tell me you're sorry. This whole soul changed, didn't it? I know. Jeez. So, is it your wife? Oh, my. Don't let Harvey! I'm All right, sorry. Batman, where you at? Where you at? I know. Come on, come on. You don't want to hurt the boy, Harvey. Let's go. Here he is. It's not about what I want. It's about one more what's person fair. to save, Batman. One more. You're the one pointing the gun, Harvey. So point it at the people responsible. Fair enough. You just can't reason with him at this point. Right. <clears throat> He's gonna point it at you, Batman. Oh. My turn. What? Ah. Oh no. Tell your boy it's gonna be all right, Gordon. Lie. Oh my gosh. It's going to be all right. <laughs> So he's good. Let's go. That was clean, bro. Jeez. You said Christopher Nolan? No, mm -hmm. show. Oh, my. Batman! Daddy, is he okay? Harvey's dead, isn't he? God needs its true hero. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. I can do those things because I'm not a hero. I'm like dead. The selfless hero. So he's going to take the blame because he doesn't want to destroy the image of hope for the city. The I love that. That's so clean, man. Hero we needed. Nothing less than a knight. And that man tried to murder his family and he's still... You on me. You know, he's doing what he needs to do to help the people. Set the dogs on me. Wow. It's the bat symbol, man. Because that's what needs to happen. Wow. Because sometimes truth isn't good enough. Oh. He's burning the letter, Rachel. People deserve more. Wrote him, man. He just doesn't need to know. He put his name in. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta walk away. <laughs> oh man. Why is he running, Dad? Because we have to chase him. Okay, we're going in. Go, go. <laughs> yeah, they have to. They have to go get him now. This is insane. This is insane, guys. Because he's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Oh. So we'll hunt him. Batman is a bad dude, man. I, I never knew who we're gonna hunt him because he can take it. Oh my gosh. Because he's not a hero. He's a silent guardian, a watchful protector, a dark knight. Wow, that was like the best. That was the oh, best. <laughs> let's go. Dude, that was a good movie, man. All right, guys, so that was The Dark Knight. Babe, I don't really. Hold on, I need to take this out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now that we dried the tears, okay? <laughs> Guys, that was a dark night, babe. On a scale from one to 10, did you cry? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so, man, that was so good. That was one of the, that was one of the better movies I, I've genuinely ever seen in my life. I don't really remember the drama. I, I seen this as a kid, man, and I, obviously I missed so much of it because I never knew Batman's character was what it was. I, I never right. really understood his... I knew he wanted to help his city and all that, but... It was deep. The end of that movie was insane. Yeah. Man. So good. I, oh, that was so good, man. The way Batman flipped the whole narrative on himself, became the bad guy because it was yeah. just what the city needed, man. They needed to believe in that symbol, which was Harvey. They didn't need to see the realism, basically. Right. Yeah, the, the realism that under any situation, someone can be a monster. But you saw on the ferry, that's not always the case. Right. Sometimes people can choose to do good, but just an incredible movie. Babe, what do you think? It, I loved it. It was one of... You know when you think of superhero movies, like at least for me, because I started out with Marvel, which had like more of like a your first one was Iron Man, right? Yeah, it was more of like a you know like a upbeat kind of superhero yeah. movie. Well, this one was just really cinematic and really like 
had so much drama. Like it would, it just had you on your toes the whole time. This one was more of like a slow burn. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was, oh, it was so good, and it was just like if if you didn't like superhero movies at all, but you just watched this movie, it just draws you in. Right. The music was good. The music was. The, awesome, it was man. emotional. I think it was like the coolest part about all of it was like Batman is someone who doesn't need recognition. He he literally like Gotham the protection of it. He like protects the realm like Varys kind of does because he like he does whatever he needs to for it. Yeah, I appreciate and, that. You know, and I really think that he saw his parents get murdered down point blank, right? And it seemed like they were murdered because they happened to come across a desperate person, and they were desperate because they lived in a in a city full of turmoil, right? right. And there was really no hope in that city. So Batman sort of understood from a young age. The best way he can honor his parents is to just do all the things that he done in this movie, basically, man. So it's almost like I was saying, man, like, would you want to go through the the tragedy it takes to become Batman? You know, like, if you're going to be someone who's so morally sound in that sense, you know, I know a lot of people are great. But if you're going to be someone who could literally pretend that you murdered all these cops and did what you could do and just be the ultimate form of selflessness in that sense, you would almost have to have something crazy like that happen. So to right. be that good of a person, would you want to have to go through something like that? Just one of those things, man. I know. And, but to me, what really sticks with me was from Batman Begins because I feel like in that one, it kind of set the the story where it's Gotham is kind of cursed. Like, Gotham's going to destroy itself within. So, like, things like the Joker are just a step in its, like, apocalyptic thing that I feel like Batman is stopping. That was, like, cyberpunk in a way. Right. Right, It's yeah. like when they gave that, it was, like, kind of like a prophecy to me mm -hmm. when he said that because it seems like, Batman just going to be the protector of that no matter what, because it's going to just keep happening. But you could see in the movie, man, it was interesting because he was getting beat up. Yeah. And, you know, it was really starting to take a toll on him. And he noticed early on there was a lot of people who was trying to take his place. But he noticed that no one's going to be able to take his place in terms of being Batman, because we saw how that ended up for the young man who really tried to do that. Right. He ended up showing up to something. And if Batman wouldn't have intervened, he probably would have lost his life that yeah. day. You know? And he was essentially LARPing with like hockey pads and stuff, just doing his best. And he knew that it was going to come through political power and change, which is why he chose to throw his endorsement behind Harvey Dent. And everything down to like having history with Rachel, Harvey dating her, even even Harvey standing up in front of everyone and declaring himself as Batman. Like, dude, if I'm the if I'm Batman and I, I'm I'm putting in the hours, I'm getting beat up, I'm saving people. It's gonna be hard to let someone take my place as Batman. Right. I'm like, no, actually, I did that. That was my. But that's what tears. Gotham needed. He didn't and care they both at all. Didn't even that. bash an eye. Yeah. Yeah. They both. It was like when Harvey was at his best, they both understood what Gotham needed, and they both like and and Gordon, all three of them, like would have made. If they if the Joker didn't interfere, they would have made Gotham so great. But the Joker knew exactly what to do to get into Harvey's head. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah, man, it's like Ugh, that's the evil dude. Which really surprised me because I even mentioned Harvey had a complete moral one eighty, mm -hmm. and I understand that the situation was so tragic. But you would imagine someone who was willing to like essentially prosecute the entire mob. Like you would think that that person would be able to stand up to something like that, but. I guess that's sort of the Joker's point. Given the right circumstance, anyone can become a monster. So the truth is, guys, there's this little elephant in the room for me. I was really interested in trying to break down the, I guess, psychological, the psychology of the Joker. Right. right. So what did you think about him? Because I couldn't really get a beat on what was up with him. I don't he know. apparently used to come home from school and watch way too much Cyber Chase. I guess he skipped Arthur, but he watched a <laughs> lot of Cyber Chase and didn't watch Dragon Tales or none of that. But. Right. He just loved chaos. I said the word chaos more in this movie right. than when I've ever said, used in my life. When he said he was an agent of chaos, like that's exactly what he was. But you know, it was weird when he said chaos was fair. You know, he told Batman that. I noticed Harvey in one of his speeches used the word fair quite a lot. So it was like he was saying fair, but the Joker was saying chaos is fair. So Harvey was kind of just saying like kind of promoting the same value in well, a he's, way. He was, yeah, I get, yeah, it was what he was saying was. In a system like Gotham, basically, where everything's corrupt from head to toe, everything's basically calculated. There is no, like, no one really has a chance. Right. Right. And so that was his way of showing you chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really interesting. Um, And it was cool because at first his coin was double-sided. It was rigged to be lucky. So right. when he was playing those games with people, he was really playing them. They were benefiting in that way. but Which symbolized... The whole politics of yeah. Gotham and how it's rigged and how yes. rigged doesn't always have a negative connotation. You can rig it in your favor. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, very interesting. There was so much symbolism in this movie that we'd almost have to like write it all down to stay organized right. with it. Right, and I it thought, was just neat. It was neat to see that in a superhero movie. Yeah, I thought, I guess I need to start from the beginning, man. The opening scene of this movie was was colder than my freezer, dog, like for real. <laughs> that was uh, sick. The Joker manipulated all these people into helping him pull off a multi-man mission to like pull a, off a, a heist huge from heist. a mobster yeah. bank. And then he manipulated everyone into killing each other until there was only one guy left. Got away with it scotch clean. Yeah. That was so clean. Yeah. Um. What a villain. <laughs> what a villain. Just what the a, ultimate villain, man. What a performance by this guy. I can uh, really see how he gave his heart and soul into this part. But not just him, man. Like Christian Bell, the lady who played Rachel. I mean, mm-hmm. I thought she was awesome in this movie. She was. Wait, her name's, I think it's something Gyllenhaal. I don't know. She might be related to your favorite. He's, Jake Jonah's not yeah, my favorite she might be related actor, to your favorite. she you dubbed him know. my favorite over here. <laughs> Fantastic job by all of them. And, uh, you know, Alfred and, you know, Morgan Freeman, all of them. They just did a great job. Even even Richard from Lost. Everything was sick Even the movie, agent man. from like, Prison Break. Yeah, Morgan Freeman, mm-hmm. as always, was just a baller. Uh, this is and, such a And I movie. really liked, like, how he... I wonder how that's going to work in the third movie. He, he, Lucius had closure. Like, he... So he resigned so i wonder what how that's gonna work i wonder who's gonna i don't even know what's gonna happen I don't know. Then. So I, what's even gonna happen i don't even know how you top this movie with uh, a third movie there yeah. is another one we're gonna check it out but i don't think it's quite this movie i mean i think it's really how good and it all, be? But how this could... one's iconic like this one's in movie posters, and in trilogies Walmart, like so. is it often the second movie well in lord of the rings the, the third one the third i thought one was incredible the, in, in the lord second the one was yeah. good don't get me wrong but the third one was everything so I wonder in trilogies, like how often is it the second one or this this dang good? <laughs> like this, I don't know. Well, absolutely amazing. <laughs> to be fair, to be a hundred percent fair, I didn't think the first movie held water compared to this movie, and but it was still was so great. good. Yeah, but I this love one the first one. I love this one. The third one, I can't wait. This one sort of felt like we just watched something sort of special. Right, I felt it. yeah. It's one of those. It's one of those where we want to hang out on the mic because we don't want to. We don't want to leave it. It was. It was so much fun. Let's just talk about the Joker one more time. Um, in my mind, he's someone who just uh, like I said, guys. I can't put a finger on it. He hates order, so he's was an anarchist of some sort and he hated hypocrisy it's almost like I don't know. He was created by the Batman, right? Like he wore a face, almost like Batman wore a mask. And he was almost like his complete opposite in so many ways. And, and you know, when he was talking about those scars, like every story he told, it was, was kind of like, it the, was morph. but they were dominating a fear of something like Batman did with his things. Like he was doing like every time he was talking about him, he would give them to the other person. So every person he had had to have the same scars as him. It was almost like he was telling different stories depending on his audience because he was just being whoever they needed. Yeah, to be, yeah, the yeah. Same way Batman was in the end. But the fact that he was like giving them the same scars kind of reminded me of batman and his like trolling of the of the bats what do you think the joker's motivation was i don't know i feel like it's just to be because he burned all the money right and he was basically saying like we we got to stop doing crime for money we need to get back to our right principles. and you know and remember also he told batman like basically you complete me like i'm like it's kind of like they're like two ends of a coin kind of together like they need each other which is weird i don't know what that exactly means but for them to need each other, that seems like, I, I don't know why he said that. Well, there was a quote in the movie, some men just like to watch the world burn, but that's just hard for me to understand because I'm not one of those people, I guess, yeah. right? Like, I'm not just trying to create chaos for no reason. Right. Maybe it's just the hypocrisy of hope in such a corrupt town. Like, we didn't get, maybe that's what makes the Joker so scary, is we didn't get that big, long, drawn-out backstory of how he came to be. Right. And but he didn't have an origin wasn't story, about, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't really about that. And we knew it, the ones he was saying were just lies, because he, he had different ones. Yeah. I usually like to try to offer what I think, but guys, in this one, there was just so much to this movie. I was doing my best to keep up. But you guys, please let me know in the comments. What do you guys think that the motivation of the Joker was? What my theory, miss? my theory personally, is he's just an obstacle for the prophecy of Gotham. Gotham is doomed to fail because the Scarecrow was one and now him. And I feel like it's just like they're just. Well, it's not like doomed to fail. I mean, I think it's it just is. so corrupt that so many things like the scarecrow and the joker can breed out of it but i mean well the only reason i say it was a prophecy and is doomed to fail is because the guy who said it was like some like sensei guy he was he was like the main guy <laughs> like they were in like in a temple and he like said it like it was like bro i'm telling you because i can see the future type of 
Yeah, yeah, I didn't really catch that vibe, to be honest. <laughs> That's uh, what I got. <laughs> we might have been watching two different screens at that moment. <laughs> well, remember he was with that guy, Liam Neeson, and he was, like, doing all this, like, kung fu. Oh, like... you're talking about in the first movie. Okay, yeah, 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 to me, it seemed like he was kind of telling Batman, like, yo, you can try your best, but this is the prophecy. You can be number one in the class and graduate, but you're still going to go run off to Gotham, but here's the prophecy. Yeah, I mean, there's probably so so many pieces of art out there that are going to help explain the backstory of Gotham and how it came to be. And for all I know, man, it, it could have used to been Sunnyside Gotham where everyone was happy <laughs> and the life expectancy was high and everyone had a union job and all that good stuff, man. And then something happened. I mean, they're, put, the they're putting mayor, junk. <laughs> they're putting junk in these people's water supply. Like they're wild as heck in Gotham City. <laughs> that was just a good movie, man. Such a good movie. I'll definitely watch this one again. Oh 100%. yeah, hundred percent. We'll put this one on one night. We'll lay down, hang out together, and put this one on and just enjoy this one. And we'll watch it again and we'll laugh and we'll read you guys' comments because that's the best thing about YouTube, man. Is we watch a movie like this and we get what we can, but then you guys come behind us and you drop so many pieces of information. You guys drop so many comments. And Easter uh, eggs and all right. the stuff that we don't pick up. And then when we great. watch it again, we have so many more pieces of information that it's really a shame that we can't like go back in time. You get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like we know so much about these movies after we put them yeah. out there for you guys to watch us. So, um, guys, that was incredible, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Please comment down below. Let me know your favorite movie. Any Easter eggs? Just anything we missed? We'll and I have, a, I have a silly question though. I know I brought this up in the thing, and. Of course, like the common thing is like peanut butter and jelly, and then you hear Batman and Robin. Why was Robin not in these? Do Maybe. you know? <clears throat> is he not like, I don't know, I don't read the comic, so I don't know. Like, is he always? If you guys want to know the honest truth, the only thing I really know about Robin is he's really temperamental on T Titans Go. Oh, that, I thought he was, show? I thought he was just Batman's sidekick, so that's why I was yeah, like, Yeah, he is Batman. I sidekick. was wondering, like, if, like, I don't know. Uh, that might have sounded silly, but I was wondering if like the butler right. or someone related to the butler was going to be let Robin. Me, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, these two movies we just watched. Yeah. Now imagine, now imagine that little boy from Teen Titans Go in the green spandex. Now imagine he's in this movie. Is it a better movie or a worse movie? Well, worse. It's a worse movie. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm just playing. Maybe it would have been better, but no, genuinely, I do think that's a very interesting question. It's actually pretty wild that I didn't think about that, but that should almost be like the first thing I asked everyone is what happened to Robin, right? Batman well, and Robin. Yeah, because of th that's silly, but that's it's like Batman man without Barnacle Boy. Right, right, right. right. That, well, I guess someone could tell us or maybe in the third movie, there will be Robin. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. That genuinely was, that was a lot of fun. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.